did what she hired me to do. No sense in feeling guilty. If you're headed up that way, watch out for the crazy High Elf Lady. She's shrill enough to make even the nastiest critter. Her name's Talene. She hired me to find her husband, so I did. Now the old horker is going on about having one lasted. Don't know. Go find him if you're so curious. His name is Vigo. Says they used to call him the hero of the Hafingar back in his glory days. Got to admire his spirit. But you ask me? It's your... Get yourself killed, you old fool! That man infuriates me so much, I could incinerate him with a fire summoning, then dump his ashes into a resurrection pot just so I could do it again. I married the damn fool, so I suppose I have no one to blame but myself. You heard right. Vigo reached 73 years old last month, but still thinks he can adventure like he's 20. He heard rumors about strange beasts picking off miners down here, so he and Pickle set out to kill a few for old time's sake. Vigol's dog and favorite adventuring companion. I trust him to keep Vigol safe most days, but he's getting up in age too. Pa, I should have never married a Nord. Always with the heroics. Would you help him? I'll pay you what I can. Thank you. Vigo may be an old fool, but he's my... What is it, Pickle? You smell something, boy. Lightless Hollow is a dangerous place to wander, friend. I've heard rumors of bloodthirsty creatures roaming these tunnels. I fear they might be the ones responsible for a group of missing miners. If you value your life, I advise you to turn back. Hmm, yes, and that's putting it kindly if the rumors are true. I've heard them called a number of different things. Bogles, clattercoats, snow ghosts. Uh, pale, hunched things, with noses like bats and pointed ears. I plan on killing any I see. You ran into Teline, did you? A good woman. But the older I get, the more she worries. I'll admit I'm not as young as I used to be. But can I not have this one last adventure? I've made my decision. Come along if you like, but don't try to stop me. Lovely. Pickle and I are glad to have you, right, boy? Ah, I think he's found an odor of interest. He's quite the tracker, you know. Follow that scent, Pickle. Lead on and we shall endeavor to keep pace. Something pickle? Ah, lead on. What is it, pickle? Good boy. Ah, one of the miners. Poor bastard. Sorry we were too... How strange. A blade made of chitin. How oh, odd. I've never seen anything quite like it. The craftsmanship is unusual, too. Aside from the fact that no one uses them? <laughs> At least no one that I've ever heard of. Harvesting chitin tough enough to use as a weapon is much more complicated than simple forging. It's not easy work, which is why you don't see them around too often. It's possible these bogles are intelligent enough to do something other than steal livestock and haunt nightmares. But 
One blade is hardly enough to go on. This looks like where the miners set up camp. See if you can find anything else of interest. Pickle seems to be on to something. You search the camp while I see what he's on to. Did you find some? Must have been terrible. I can't imagine being stuck down here, afraid that something is lying in wait in the darkness. Uh, was there anything else? Perhaps they still live. Maybe we're not too late after all. That gives us some... Wait for us, boy! Well, look at that. I suppose we found our dwarven ruins. This chasm is no obstacle. I'll simply use this. Ah, uh, sorry. I got ahead of myself. Not to worry. Pickle will help you find another way around. You're not what I was. They were pale and sickly looking, hunched over like old hags with sharp teeth. Had this weird armor, too. They killed Trilfa. He was my friend. They're going to kill the others, too. I just know it. I'm getting out of here. Please. the boy and homages. You made it! Not that I had any doubt. Pickle's sense of direction is unparalleled. Couldn't ask for a finer adventuring. Then we must mount a rescue. How thrilling! I couldn't have asked for a better send-off. I'll scout an escape route for us to ensure that we have a way out. You track down the miners. We'll meet up and make our dashing getaway.
Excellent. Keep Pickle with you. He's likely to come in handy. Oh, this is shaping up to be a fine last adventure. We're not finished yet, I know, but I'm already in your debt. You've helped grant an old man's last foolhardy wish. Let's finish this! I don't want to hurt you, but now I'm going to. Enkain, please get us out of here. We had to watch as those hideous creatures killed our friends. I can still hear the screams. I just want to go home. How did you even find us down here? Oh, that must have been Skeg. Thank the gods he's still alive. Those monsters are everywhere. How are we going to get out? Lead on. We'll do our best to keep up. Excellent work, my friend. Ah, and Pickle, of course. Come, we must not waste time. I found another way out of here. The passage beyond this door is the most direct route back to the camp. Though, there is one small problem. Unfortunately, once I passed through it, a switch was set off, and it locked behind me. I've a bit of experience with dwarven mechanisms, actually. There's a trick to releasing them from the ledge above the door. My grappling device should get me up there. Uh, and remind me to tell you how I discovered it sometime. Oh, it's a fine story. When I give the word, you throw the door lever, while I tug on the counterweight. The door should open with no trouble. I'll need to keep a solid grip on the counterweight to keep it from closing on you. You let me worry about that, friend. Just get everyone else out safely. Now, if you're ready, let's get a move on. The culmination... Okay. Shouldn't be but a moment. Just need to find the proper... There it is! Ugh. Wait! Something's coming! Go! Get to safety! I'll draw them away!
You made it. But wait. Where's Vigo? He what? How could you let him do that? How could you leave him behind? He couldn't... I suppose you're right. He truly was a great hero. Perhaps it was a fitting end for him. Thank you for going to that dark... Don't plan the funeral just yet, love. Vigo, is it really you? Who else? Ah, what a finale that was. Sorry if I gave you a bit of a scare. That was closer than I'm proud to admit. But it all worked out, didn't it? This has been a memorable conclusion to a long and storied career. Thank you for your fellowship. And your indulgence. Escape? Bah! I drove them off, killed as many as I could. But I had to run when I got the opportunity. It's not exactly a comfort to know the myths of pale beasts that steal babes and slaughter livestock are real. But it felt good to gut some. <laughs> not sure I really want to know. Anyway, thanks for looking after Pickle. The way he's looking at you, oh, I don't know that he's ever looked at me that fondly. I think you've made a friend for life. And you've certainly found one in me as well. I used my wits, my faithful dog, and my grappling hook to rescue those who needed rescuing, and made it back in one piece. <laughs> Best of all, I made a new friend. It was everything I hoped for and more. Here, take this as a... Now, I take on the most challenging adventure of all. Marriage, full time. I got damn lucky with Talene. She's better to me than I deserve. I'm going to spend the rest of my life making it up to her. My friend, I will always be the king of my castle. But from now on, I think I'll let Talene make all the decisions. I'm happy just to be with her. Wherever she takes me, I'll gladly go. Thank you for assisting my fool husband. I hope he's ready for warmer weather, because I plan to drag his sorry ass to Somerset and keep him there permanently. Yes, it's relaxing. Somewhere we could build a home. I'd show him the beaches, warm waters, and... Hmm, he'd be so bored there. Maybe we'll travel instead. See all of Tamriel while he's still healthy. It will be an adventure for him, but a safe one. Thanks again for bringing him home. Next time you're helping me with something. Change of plans? <laughs> 